This video went up early for YouTube channel members. Welcome back to the stash folks. Today we're going to be talking about something that I've been working on for quite a while now. Um, it is almost complete. We are nearing the finish line. I'm planning on doing some uh, interviews with various wrestling websites and wrestling content creators because I feel like I can do the video game portion of the promotion. But hey, you know, I might I might talk with some uh, content creators as well. But I'm, all, I'm clearly talking about the art of N64 wrestling games book. I would say the design process is 90 to 95 percent complete and I am completely done writing for it. I kept adding in things over the past couple of weeks, just things that would pop up in my mind. I'm like, oh, that'd be really cool to add. Um, along with another wrestler's uh, story about how much he got for a royalty check for his first game. So that was super cool. But I am done writing for it. Um, and, you know, right now it's just waiting to get that finalized PDF and then uploading it and then getting the ball rolling with, like, author copies. But I kind of wanted to talk about the thought process going into that, um, kind of how this came to be. Um, I guess briefly talk about comparisons to other things and stuff like that. Um, cause I know a lot of people have questions about it. We do have a Facebook page. I know Facebook, but it's an easy way to just kind of set up something dedicated for promotion and teasers and stuff like that. I'll have a link to it in the description box down below. Um, but this is not my first rodeo with a book. I wrote the complete guide to the Sega 32 X before this available on Amazon link in the description box down below. And, um, that was literally me laying on the couch one day and I just kind of popped up and I was like, I want to write a, a, a book on the Sega 32 X. And I had never written a book before. Obviously I have kind of a background in it when it comes to writing for websites or, uh, writing, uh, contributor stuff. I've been a part of, um, one of Brett Weiss's books, one of Jeffrey Wittenhagen's books. So, you know, I've dabbled my toes in it, but I wanted something that was just all me. And we'll talk a little bit about that more uh, as the video goes along. But I, I had the idea. I, I messaged Jason Lapine because he knows a lot of people. I was like, you know anyone who, like, does book designs? And he was like, well, I, I, I have software for it. I've never done it before, but I figured we could figure it out. I'm like, all right. So that's kind of what we went with with that. We had no idea what we were doing, but... I think the final product ended up being like really good, especially for a first time sort of thing. We published self-published through Amazon, which I know there's a stigma around that, that you're not a real publisher if you self-publish through Amazon. Uh, first and foremost, I have talked with several publishers about doing this book independently um, through their publishing companies. I just feel like Amazon gives people an easier way of accessing stuff and really if you look at how many reviews the complete guide to the Sega 32X book has on Amazon compared to a vast majority of other books that are video game related on Amazon, you'll see that one book probably has more reviews than the other. So I don't think that was necessarily a bad idea. We did pre-orders through Castlemania Games, who was kind enough to basically, I ordered a bunch of copies for myself. I signed them. I shipped them off in a big box to him and he distributed them to everyone who pre-ordered because we did it through his website and like my goal with that book was to never like make a bunch of money off of it like I know some people like that's their livelihood and that's cool I just wanted to break even I had to pay Jason um for the design I had to pay Joe Redifer from GameSack because I wanted him to read over all of my Sega tech analysis stuff to make sure I wasn't misspeaking or something like that but, you know, it all came out great. Uh, I broke even just on pre-orders alone. So everything else after that was was gravy. But that's kind of my backstory with writing a book. Now that I've gotten my feet wet, I feel like, you know, I can kind of expand upon it. And, you know, a lot of people ask me, like, oh, you're going to do a Game Gear or Saturn or something like that. And it's just like I'm a very impulsive person. I come up with an idea and I become obsessed with it. I have a very obsessive personality where I get kind of really drawn into like one thing and like that takes up all my focus and with this n64 wrestling thing like i don't know i just i wanted to do this like i felt like it was a really cool thing it's a really you know niche market but i feel like it kind of super you know it's a bigger market than the 32x book could be because not only can you get video game fans but you can also get wrestling fans 
with this too. So once again, I reached out to Jason and he was like, well, I, I know someone who actually is a really good designer. Do you want me to um, set you up with her? I was like, I'll be real with you, Jason. You know, I'm not the easiest person in the world to work with. So why don't you be like the liaison? You know, you be in the middle and I'll just tell you and then you could tell her. So that way, you know, you know how I am. But this this girl knocked it out of the fucking park, man. When she started sending me previews, I was like, what? Wow. Like incredible presentation, incredible presentation. Like I just I sent I did kind of a little bit extra with this book like i sent just kind of like 90s wrestling logos arenas kind of how the text was the the feeling of that time frame and she just nailed it absolutely crushed it came up with things in terms of designs that i would have never thought of and i don't think jason would have ever thought of either so we are nearing the finish line uh with this book like i said you know she has done most of it um, I haven't gotten an update in like two weeks or so, but I've also added in things since that time frame. But obviously, you know, there's going to be some comparisons because there is an N64 Games book coming out in September uh, that Pat Contry, Pat the NES Punk is doing. But I feel like we're, we're two different sorts of things here. You know, Pat's book covers all the N64. He's got a lot of contributors and stuff. You know, it's a bit more utilitarian more of like a, you know a reference book or something like that where mine is more you know flash and flare you know what i'm saying like i the the presentations are very different and plus this is more of a, a niche thing you know covering not only the games but the homebrew projects talking with people that are making the homebrew and mod projects talking with wrestlers having them contribute stories about what they remember about doing it what it was like to be in it or even wrestlers who you know have played the games and grew up playing them and are now seen on tv every week so i am i am very excited for this um as far as how i'm going to do distribution i haven't fully decided yet but I'm leaning mostly towards Amazon once again. I know fake, fake author RGT over here, but I, I'm leaning towards Amazon again just because I'm familiar with it. And like when I talk to publishers, like they wanted to design it and they have their own people who like come up with the design for you and stuff like that. And like that's cool. And I know that's kind of what I'm doing right now. But I just feel like, I don't know, it would have been different. You know, I want to be able to say and come up with ideas. And, like, that's what ends up happening. And, you know, if I get a creative soul like I did with the designer of this who is, like, tapped in and, like, understands where I'm coming from. Because I believe she is a fan of wrestling as well and played some of these N64 games. Like, it just makes it so much easier instead of, like, trying to talk to someone who has no clue about the background of this who has no clue what what you're trying to convey and plus you know i i just like to have control over the whole situation but i am planning on doing pre-orders as well um signed pre-orders once again through castlemania and initially i came up with a great idea i was like we could do a limited pre-order only run of you know like a, a combo pack so, like, not only will you get an autographed copy of the book, but for an additional cost, you can get a figure uh, based on the book, you know, just kind of based on me. And I was talking with this company, and this kind of goes into the I know my audience better than you do sort of situation. And they had hit me up and they said, oh, yeah, we do, um, you know, plushes, vinyl toys. I'm like, do you do action figures with articulation? They were like, no, but vinyl toys can be very similar. You just lose the articulation. So I started looking at the vinyl toys, and I was like, okay. And so I just came up with I, – I, I proposed my idea to them. I said, hey, you know, um, you make X amount of these. Um, I'll buy them all, and then you can also sell them on your website, but I will buy them all ship them to this guy blah 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 you know i'll come up with the concept the ideas of the figures and then they emailed me back and they were like no why don't we do a plush first and i'm like are, are, are we on the same page here are, are, are you listening to me because I, I gave them a very reasonable 
uh, amount of figures. And I understand you have to, you know, meet certain quotas, but this is a, a self sustaining company. So they wanted to do plushes and I'm not, I'm not doing a plush that goes along with the book. So I pivoted. I just kind of ignored further emails because we're obviously not on the same page and we're going to do a t-shirt bundle with, um, the cover art of the book available on a t-shirt ranging from size small to as big as I can get because I had a few people already hit me up saying you do them double X, triple X. I was like, I'll do what I can do. Um, so it looks like that's going to be the move, and that will be, like I said, a limited time thing. I'm going to do less t-shirts than just standard books because I understand a t-shirt isn't for everyone. I'll probably do half of the amount of books uh, or half of the amount of shirts that I do books there. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's coming together. It's very exciting. It should be out before Christmas. I can't foresee anything kind of stopping that, you know, um... I would say probably by the end of this month, I should have, you know, a finalized uh, file that you then uh, upload onto Amazon. And then you say, send me an author copy, which is like the 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 edit copy that you kind of look through, see if there's any mistakes, see how your margins are, make sure everything fit perfectly on the pages. But yeah, man, it's coming together and I'm really excited for it. And check this out. So, <laughs> this is so carny. This is so carny of me. Hulk Hogan. All right. Obviously, Hulkamaniac. Love him or hate him. Uh, you can mail stuff into his beach shop if you talk to this guy. And he'll sign it. And then they send it back to you. So, am I going to have Hulk Hogan sign a copy of the Art of N64 Wrestling Games book that will probably cost me like a couple hundred dollars just for your signature? You're goddamn right I am. And that will sit on my shelf but yeah uh so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into what is going on follow the facebook page if you haven't already um lots of fun stuff over there book previews memes discussions polls so you can vote for what you want and stuff like that but yeah really really looking forward to this so that's all i really got to say um hope you enjoyed this video uh, of course, it went up for channel members first, and thank you guys to all the channel members out there. Consider becoming a channel member. You get cool emoticons and live streams, and you get early access to the videos. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.